Hello, thanks for the opportunity. Um, Joey, you raised in many different series, and I'm wondering how would you rate the Cup Series field in comparison with other series? How about the talent level? And is it a reasonable assumption to say that the Cup Series guys are more aggressive than your average opponents? Uh, well, I mean, I would rate the level of the, the level of drivers very high. Um, I think the difference is um, that the difference from from the series I've run in, in prior is throughout my career is that you have such a deep uh, level of talent from first to thirty fifth, thirty seventh. I mean, I'm what I notice differently about cup racing is that I'm in I'm in a fight all the time. Like I'm, I'm been, I've been racing for third, legit third at Watkins Glen. I was in a fight. I was in 35th at one point trying to get my way back through. And I was in a fight. Like you're always, there's no time for rest. I think is what you recognize in a cup race um, because you're always racing against good guys. Um, but I don't think, you know, like you see guys, it's kind of funny to see Mike Rockenfell out there. Him and I were banging doors in DTM in Europe totally different cars, totally different style of racing. Uh, now you got Connor Daly coming in this weekend. Connor Daly drove for me, just so you know, in a cart when he was younger, when I had a cart team, uh, like super nationals and stuff like that. Um, so you got, I think you have a, you have a lot of guys out there with a lot of talent and, um, like Rockenfeller, you know, we were talking about it. We went to dinner before the last race at Watkins Glen, his, his first race. And he's like, what can you tell me? I said, well, you're going to be in a fight all day long. It doesn't matter where you're at on the track. You're just going to be, you're going to be in it because everybody that you're running with, even in the twenties and the thirties or the teens or, you know, one through 10, everybody believes they can win and a lot rightfully. So um, some, not so much. <laughs> and then they, they just don't think they should be there. So, you know, and it's just like me, you know, I'm, I'm a guy that most guys, um, yeah, I'm only here six races in the year. I'm not here for three weeks or 10 weeks. And then I'm all of a sudden here, but I come to win and I fight to win. Like I'm driving, I'm fighting everybody. Like I can win this race too. So um, you just end up with hard, hard racing. And I think, honestly, I think that's what makes the show. I mean, that's what makes NASCAR such a great show is you can move the camera from top 10 to top 30 and you can still watch a really good fight uh, in, a, in a good way. So um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think I've said this on this before. I've, you know, I wanted to race NASCAR when I was young. I always wanted to do it. And, you know, because of that, I always saw the racing. It's like, man, there's racing all the time for the whole race. And, and uh, not that we don't do that in other series, but, you know, like in a sports car race, when you're talking about 10 hours or 24 hours, we're not going, we're not going at it, you know, so strong, like in the first two hours. You know what I mean? So you're always like that last hour and a half is where you really get after it. So this, these three, three and a half hour races are just high intensity, man. I'll tell you what, and I dig it. Thank you very much for your answer. Uh, do we have time for another question? Sure. Go ahead. One more. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, do you think, uh, Joey, you have an advantage against the cup series field because of your background when with the car being very similar uh, to GT cars? And if yes, in what areas of the game do you think you are ahead of the Cup Series competition? Well, I hoped that as soon as I got in this in the first race of the year, I was everybody talked about that and we hoped that. But what you learn really quickly is that these guys are really good uh, and they learn really fast. And, you know, along with the fact that we have great simulation and everybody does now, uh, you know, everybody's got simulators they're working on and probably driver coaching and help in that way, uh, similar to what I'm doing over here with Ford. Um, they, they get going pretty quick. So, you know, the advantages go away pretty fast. Um, but I think, you know, if there's something that stands out for me that uh, I tend to do on a regular basis, you know, in the top levels with everybody is probably braking, you know, like the, you know, the, the deep on the brakes and how you manage the brakes is, I mean, it's a, in a, in sports cars or in road racing every week, I'm working on brakes and brakes are always like, as far as how you, how you brake and how deep you brake, you know, it's really what separates guys. You know, I can, like I tell people all the time when I'm coaching, 
I got my kid, I got other people I coach. I can pretty much get anybody from the middle of the corner off. You can just, I can teach them how to stand on the gas and drive off the corner, but you know, it's, it's definitely uh, more difficult to get that car in on the brakes and, and the guys that get a few feet in deeper. I mean, that's lap time. So uh, it seems that, that that's been something that's helped me out through these races is being able to get is, is maximize the brake zones. And, um, but man, what you learn really quick in NASCAR is it's you need every little single bit. Um, but that's also what is so fun about it. Like you're everybody at every team on every car number manufacturer is looking for all those little bits. And, um, I've been doing, I've been driving for 32 years now and that's all I've been doing is looking for those little bits. So, uh, it's, it's a good time. Uh, I don't think I have really a really huge advantage on anybody other than, you know, I, I'm always working on road courses. These guys are ovals and road courses, ovals and road courses. And so um, that might be my only advantage, but uh, a lot of good, a lot of good wheelmen out here. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Got it, buddy.